pedestrian safety laws. Is that a Honda CRC? I like the view of Verano though, even if it is based on the Chevy Cruze. You know those aren't real. What, the Chevy Cruze? Yeah, the Chevy Cruze isn't even real. A lot of the marks on cars aren't real. Doesn't the, like, the new Toyota Camry have those stupid things on the back? Yeah. Epic Gamer car lines. I'm going to address my camera in a cringy fashion now. Yo, check it. <laughs> Just, no. We're hanging out at CarMax this morning because this guy had his car broke down, the car that replaced the car that also broke down. Of course, now he's 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 forcing me around the parking lot, nerding out about your Hondas and your, your Miatas, your Honda Miatas. They got some cars here. Wait, really? Holy crap, way to pull the curtain back, dude. I had no idea. I like how they said they were looking at my car, but... <laughs> it's in the parking lot. <laughs> I was this close to being like, you know, it's just like sitting out there, right? <laughs> we go, so, we go up to the counter to, to ask them, like, what's going on? And the lady says, Oh, okay, yeah, he's looking at your car right now, but we walked past it in the parking lot on the way in. I've been in those kinds of positions before. I would have said the same thing. We're, we're breaking... I just think these minivans that are actually, like, in the most literal sense of the word, minivans are weird. Something smells delicious. It does smell really good, doesn't it? I bet they have, like, breakfast crew inside and they're making muffins or something. I think it's probably just one of the many restaurants that surround us. What? There's no restaurants around here. He's pulling it back in now. Oh, okay. But and there he is right there. He's got to let the vehicle for the overheating issue. So I almost felt bad about that. The lady came out from behind the, that was behind the desk earlier and she like found us in the middle of this parking lot in freezing cold weather. This is uh, kind of humorous. She didn't know that the that they weren't working on the car anymore. So much. That's a car. Actually, it's not. Oh. It really isn't. Wow. It's crazy how they make it look so similar. But this is... I don't remember if I told you this or not, but these have one of like the worst buyer's remorse ratings of any vehicle. I butchered that every single time I've retold the story, so that probably has lost all meaning at this point. The worst buyer's remorse ratings? What does that mean? It means people regret buying it instead of something else. I can understand why. It's pretty bland. <laughs> smart car. Nobody wants smart cars anymore. Everyone's getting the Teslas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something on accident touching this vehicle. I'm just gonna leave it alone. So is the Spark better or worse than the Sonic? It's smaller, so whatever, whether that's better or worse to you. Let's see how similar it is on the inside. Oh look, it doesn't, it has actual proper you vents. You said that literally the last time we were in this car. Well, you know why? That's because it's true. Can you imagine doing this in a car from 2016? Yes. There's a reason this thing cost almost $10,000. Almost $10,000, he says. It also has a normal looking gauge cluster. What if we played hide and seek with the lady? If she like came out oh, here. What if she went, <laughs> we just went to the farthest end of the parking area. <laughs> she, just, she comes out here and we're like, get under one of the cars. Get one. I thought the doors in your car were cheap. This is terrible. I told you it costs almost ten thousand dollars. So what if we just what if we just freaking sideswipe like four cars while we were sitting? <laughs> that would have been a pretty epic gamer. It'd been an absolutely epic gamer. But look, I mean, this is so cheap. It only has twenty thousand miles on it. So it's used. Yeah. Try. Are you trying to make me buy a car? I'm not saying I am. I can barely I'm afford the not. crap they post on Co Copart, dude. I can't afford this. Does this not have? The back doesn't open. <laughs> it's it's fixed like the Tata Nano. You know that car? No. It's the, the cheapest car I've ever made, basically. I guess you can only open it from the inside. Can you even open it? Does it have a trunk? Does it actually not have a trunk? Well, I know it opens. I just don't know how to do it. Maybe you actually need the key. Maybe it's the same thing that opens this. Well, there's actually a button on the inside to open that. Whatever. Hey, 
what's up guys? We're driving back from a little CarMax adventure. My poor brother, dude can't catch a break. <clears throat> he has a, he had a Saturn that he had to get rid of because the transmission like was about to fall out the bottom of the damn thing. Then he replaces it with a Chevy, a, a nice little Chevy compact car. And now that thing is broken. They uh, set him up with a rental though. He's driving home in a, uh, a Hyundai, a Hyundai Elantra. Hyundai, Hyundai, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've watched too much of the British Top Gear. I mean, yeah, it is, it is what it is. You can actually see, you can actually see it way up there in front of that box truck. The other day, I uh, made kind of a discovery about myself and the way that I work, apparently, which is that I don't work well in the cold. I tried to go out to Alexandria and play around with some video cameras like I did the other night and it was below freezing. Yeah, that didn't turn out so well. I, I guess I can't really work in the in the cold temperatures very well. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the camcorder test footage on hiatus until the summer rolls around. What I'm gonna do instead is try to focus on the camcorder reviews if I can uh, get those done. But while I was out there, I got some footage of, uh, sorry, I keep panning the camera though. I have to look at the road. I got some footage of the, of some Christmas lights and I figured I'd show that to you guys. Look at this. You look around on these houses and you see the nice little uh, twinkles of Christmas lights. You can definitely see the uh, holiday cheer showing up around here. Not out here though. Not where I am, because it's freezing cold. And it's pretty damn near close to it. It was like 38 in the car. The car read 38 on the way here, so. And then there's that wind. That god-awful wind. It's really killing me. At least it's not raining. <laughs> There you can see the uh, bumper to bumper traffic over there again. Nice. Look at this. Here's some more Christmas lights and everything. Not as many over there. Uh, they don't have the Christmas spirit on that side. Check this out. You can see Christmas trees all up inside people's houses. It's really nice. It's my favorite thing about during Christmas is all the holiday cheer. I'm looking at all this traffic, and uh, it is serving as a very, what's the word I'm looking for, a very, it's bad because I'm going to be stuck in that. Look at this. Look at all those people. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've talked about this before, but recently when I was coming down here, I was on the other side there, and I saw this plaque, and it said that apparently there's actual people buried under the street here, because there's like a, a huge cemetery. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that seems pretty fucked up that uh, they built a street over a bunch of dead people. And like, I don't know, it creeps me out. Like, if, if I was a dead guy, and a dude built a, and like, a city built a street over me, I don't think I'd be too pleased about it. Guys, check this out. Someone left their keys. Somebody's keys are over here. I wonder who these are. 
I don't know whose keys those could be. I hope they find them. Again, if it were me, if I left something somewhere, I'd probably just go back for it. So I'll leave them there and see if the guy retraces their steps or something. I don't know. Yeah, I remember going to Occoquan last year and being kind of underwhelmed by the uh, display. So it's nice to see that at least Alexandria has the Christmas spirit in mind. And then the one last thing I wanted to talk about was that a friend the other day told me about this thing called C-pop. Now, you've heard of K-pop. What do you think C-pop would be? The answer is Chinese pop. When I heard it, I thought it was Canadian pop. So now I want you guys to go in the comments and tell me what you think the lyrics to uh, Canadian pop would be. I'm thinking a lot of things to do with maple syrup and apologizing. What would Y pop be? That'd be like, that'd be YouTube pop, right? What would that be? I wonder. I don't know. It'd probably be a lot of uh, fake apology videos and um, fake scandals. Not, not necessarily fake scandals, but more so scandals that don't actually have to be scandals because they're not that bad. I digress. Uh, just thought I would update you guys on the whole thing. The things that are happening over here. And uh, we'll be getting back on track with that trip to, uh, the, to, to Phoenix. Can't talk. We're getting back on track with that trip to Phoenix here. I'm leaving in eight days. I'm leaving on the 28th. I'm uh, I'm nervous, but it's a good nervous. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. These videos suck. I don't know why people watch these, but here we are.